Kai Engineering is uh it has a a quote cute stuffed animal robot uh that will nibble your finger. <laughs> so according to this, so you get this little guy and it's a little kind of sitting cat or dog, a little sleepy little cat or dog it looks like here, right? And uh it looks like so so here there's there's the gift if you're joining us there. Um yeah, it, it you you put your hand in its mouth. It's kind of like the Furbies, right? You put your hand in your, your mouth in you know, no, your hand in its mouth and it goes nom 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 nom. It <laughs> goes ham 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 according to this um on your finger. And uh, that is supposed to be, uh, if I remember from reading the article, a calming, a, a, a calming sensation. It's an amagami, amagami, I think I'm getting that right, which uh, means soft biting, and ham means bite in Japanese. Um, so uh, what was that full name of these? Ones? Yeah, the amagami ham ham is, is the name of the robot, if you want to look that up. Um, looking at this, it's... <laughs> Hold on, hold on. What was it? What were they said? It was. It was uh, the nib. Pe- Here's a quote: Most people like the nibbling sensation, but know that they need to teach their children and or pets to stop it because kids and animals will otherwise bite them with full full force eventually. <laughs> so the Amagami Ham Ham is a robot that frees humankind from the conundrum of whether to pursue or not to pursue the forbidden pleasure. Wait, this just went a different way, didn't it? Uh, <laughs> Awesome cast after dark. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wish I had that re- that reaction when I read that line there. <laughs> um, this is not all they do. Um, they also have a. Uh, th- so I'm looking at this guy. It's the uh, the Boko Emo. Like, and th- so that's like the main thing. But there's there's just there's other robots that they they do here. Like this this Boko this Boko Romo Boko Emo. I'm sorry. It, it it's supposed to be a bedside hospital robot, like Bay like Baymax, right from Big Hero Six. It really feels like, but it's a little one that just goes on your desk. And, and the idea is, it's um, it, 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 it's it's it says hospitals in Japan are using it to monitor patients' vitals, like oximeter oximeters, uh, uh, thermometers, and, and notifies nurse nurses of the patient's condition. But during the pl- and during the pilot pilot period, it was used to inform patients' families about how they're doing, and also communicates with the patients using sound effects, facial expressions, and gestures while they wait for the nurse to arrive. So if something's happening, this is like communicating with them to sort of soothe them, I think, before the you know wh- while we're waiting for the nurse to get there, because I mean it's it's always going to take a minute for that to happen, right? So um, be- man, they got really interesting stuff here, and there's another one I didn't get into. Oh. The robotic cattail pillow. I feel like we may have brought this up on the show before. Do, do are you aware of this? I feel like this is something Katie would know. Uh, this, <laughs> it's just a pillow with a cattail. It's. A, I think does it purr? The petite like or Kubo. vibrate or something. It, vi- it vibrates, doesn't it? I, I think we did talk about this one show. It's a therapy pet robot. I we definitely talked about this guy. Um, yeah, it's gonna say like da, 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 da. It reminds me of Harold from uh, Shang Chi. I think it was Harold. Uh, the little little thing, little furball with wings and legs uh, that they had on there. 